Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time it's a Hyung Chang <laughs> HCF100 multifunction counter. It's supposed to do from 10 hertz to 100 megahertz. First, when I saw this one, I was really happy about this G. I thought this is gigahertz. <laughs> oh, you never know. We got, yeah, there's some trigger level and um, times one or times 20. So this is an attenuator. We got the range 10 or 100. So I bet there is a some sort of a pre-scaler we um, just enable. And uh, we got this eight digits. So, I mean, my best guess is there will be a big 40 pin all in one chip and it's multiplexed and then there's more or less nothing else in this box because the age the design of this um i don't know it's probably the start of the 90s or something like that that is definitely how they were designed we got some different uh gating time and display i don't know exactly what that is doing so this is hold or reset okay nice yeah well there's not a lot to say about this i didn't i tried to clean it a little bit it was really really yellow and it's actually still just a little bit nasty and yellow it's also a little bit cracked now and then here and there and so there's the main voltage switch on the outside and the oscillator you can use the internal or external oscillator. I was hoping that when you're using the internal, it would output the internal oscillator so you can use it for something else, right? And then when you're using external, then this one is an input. But I think that is not the, the case with this one. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I think we should open and inspect before we just power it up and uh, blow anything. Let's let's see the the state of the internal parts here. I think this is very close to what I kind of guessed. <laughs> I actually, to be honest, had the idea the circuit board would be less than half, but it is a little bit more than half. So I guess I was fail. So this is the classic uh, all-in-one frequency counter chip. We have seen this in many, many other um, frequency counter projects, and it can do, yeah, all the different uh, ranges and gate times and uh, funny stuff. It's more or less everything in one chip, yeah. Um, rectifier, capacitor, and a little regulator for a nice stable voltage and uh, this is uh, the connector for the input and look at that see so there's a switch and this is the ac or a dc trick point and then there is a capacitor here for dc blocking so it's uh yeah that, that is the way the trick kind of works we've got a little bit of transistor amplifier going on here and some other amplifier trigger stuff and then probably that one will be them times 10 multi um a prescaler so that will be a prescaler right that will do 100 megahertz there is a, one really cool thing about this design you really need to see and that is here in the middle of the picture see the crystal is connected to a heating transistor and a temperature sensor isn't that just fantastic so there is a temperature stable frequency uh generator here i mean this is definitely how you make a very very good um stable reference frequency and obviously this is what you need when you got that many digits and it's able to do 100 megahertz so i have uh, high expectations for for this design because this is definitely how it should be um they say if <laughs> i just check this 
they say in the manual, you need a 20 minutes warm up. So that's obviously for um, you know, to get a, t a stable temperature on that crystal. And that little capacitor here is where you fine tune the oscillator frequency. But I don't want to touch anything at all. I just want to put it to one second uh, gate and uh, power it up and see if there's anything on the display. Let's uh, let's see what happens here. So let's do the first power up. First we apply mains and then we'll see. Nothing bad happened. Four point seven watts. I was expecting a little bit more than that. Are we in? Okay, so that is what's hold. So we're probably running on frequency. What else can we do? Total check. Aha! So in check mode, we connect its internal clock to everything, I think. So I would just hit frequency and then it goes zero, zero, zero. And we are, of course, in kilohertz. Then I think this is the in out, right? So when you put it, push, push it in, we have 100. And uh, yeah, okay, so let's let's just give it one kilohertz and see that works. So this is, okay, we're gonna crank it up. 10, yeah, okay, so we are in one second gate time. So that is 100 kilohertz. Well, that will be one megahertz. Ah, we don't have megahertz. So that is 10 megahertz. Ooh, and then can you do nine? Ah, it's probably something to do with the trick, right? Aha, so that is an idea to go real fast and then play, see, and find this spot. See, here we go, and then you can go. So that is how it works, and I can, of course, give it more juice from the generator, probably what I should do, like that. There's some more, and so that was 9. It should be able to do 10 megahertz, right? So let's give it, okay, let's give it 9.9. .9. Okay, that is fine. And then can you do, yes, you can. So can you do, aha, you can do more, good. So let's give you 11, no, no. But anyway, this is the 10 megahertz range. And uh, yeah, how about we try the 100 megahertz range. And that seems to be, working as well. So now we have the prescaler and we have 10 megahertz, right? So that will be 10 megahertz. Let's crank up to 20 megahertz, 30, 50 megahertz, and then one. No, you cannot do 100, 90, 80. Why are you like that? Hmm, I'm not happy about that. So that is okay. Let's let's try and play with the ah. So that is that was me. Okay, let's go back. Let's crank it up. So that was 100. Ooh. So here is 110. <laughs> hey, so I can do a little bit more. And all that is working perfectly fine. How about that? Isn't that nice? And that is, oh, we can give it a little bit more. Ah, oh, we're still in the warm up, by the way. So um, let's not be uh, too sad about that. I think I will get back in 20 minutes and see how that So works. we're back after a whole day. This unit has been running the whole day and I've been doing a lot of other things as you can imagine. 
But what happened is that this one has been running all day and my generator has been running all day. And I did, of course, fine tune the crystal oscillator. So this is uh, my 100 megahertz. And uh, I don't dare to go any closer than this because I really want it to be on the positive side. I really like it to read 100 point a little bit uh, because otherwise it's going to say 999999. I mean, it's, it's not looking good. So this, this is kind of the way that I like them to be a little bit on the positive readout side when it is like that because it's... Yeah, it is drifting a little bit. It's not that uh, super, super accurate to the last digit uh, when if I touch this, uh, the crystal and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but did I? Yeah, I did show you the power and heater and the little NTC temperature sensor and all that kind of stuff. So we have a very, very nice temperature regulator here. And look at that. Oh, let me get the macro. Because obviously we have a little macro lens on this unit. I will try and show you. Can we get this? So it's only 40, 45 Celsius or something like that. So that's all there is to it. I want to show you what happens. If I touch it with my fingers and see, now I'm cooling down the crystal just a little tiny bit. So yes, temperature is definitely a thing. And then after a little while, it's going to go back again. So I don't really want to say a lot more about this unit. I still think it's... Uh, Really nice and uh, and fine. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, yeah, please come back again soon.